Nigel Farage has ridiculed Remainers, singling out Lord Heseltine and big corporations, as another huge economic win for Britain squashed the predictions of Brexit catastrophe. Nigel Farage told GB News viewers that predictions of the Brexit catastrophe have failed yet again after another huge vote of confidence in the UK. This comes after a report from A revealed 90% of major global financial services have said they would seek to set up in the UK or boost their current operations. Mr Farage said that report was an absolutely overwhelming global vote of confidence in the country after leaving the EU. He took the chance to ridicule Brexit predictions of economic catastrophe. Mr Farage named and shamed Lord Heseltine as well as the big banks and big corporations for their scaremongering claims in the lead-up to the exit. The GB News host said, We were told by virtually everybody, particularly the big banks and big corporations, that leaving the EU would be a catastrophe for the City of London. Well, Lord Heseltine and others, if you are watching, try this for size. He continued, a report by A shows that 90% of major global financial services have said they would seek to set up in the UK or boost their current operations. That is an absolutely overwhelming global vote of confidence that London, the UK, is the right place for financial services. Not Frankfurt, not Paris. It was never going to be. Following the report, Wall Street giant Citibank announced a whopping £100 million investment in its Canary Wharf headquarters. Sky News business expert Ian King said that the financial firm's investment signals that London remains central to the financial services sector. David Livingston, Citus EMEA chief executive, told Sky News the investment underlined the bank's confidence that London would remain the world's international financial capital. He added, there's also the regulatory environment which remains a strong principles-based environment which we think, post-Brexit, will forge its own particular way which will be positive for the UK. Last week, the EU revealed it would extend access to London's clearinghouses for a further three years in a major boost for the city. Brussels has increasingly tried to move European banks away from London but with little success. European firms remain heavily reliant on London to process their transactions. In other Brexit-related news, French President Emmanuel Macron has backed down on his threats to sue Britain over post-Brexit fishing licences. The outcome is another climb down for France, which has repeatedly missed deadlines for action against Britain. Thank you for watching.